Hi everyone, this is Tracy Bowman coming from Buzzards Bay, Bowman for Art on Facebook, T.A. Bowman Studios in Buzzards Bay. So uh, now that I got my spinner all cleaned out, ready to go, um, I'm gonna paint something. It has been raining here for I don't know how long here in New England, Cape Cod, Massachusetts, in the United States. <laughs> And uh, it hasn't stopped. And now it's starting to snow. So I need something cheery. I, I think I'm going to do yellow and orange flowers today. So uh, let me get you down on the canvas and I'll show you what I got going on. Okay, so we'll start with the, our house paint. And I'm never shy with that. I don't know, I always like to have a good base. If I'm going to have one, I want a good base. I don't want to be patching it in later. That, uh, to me, leaves uh, room for error, so <laughs> I don't want to do that. Be happy with something and mess it up because it wasn't covered right to begin with. Hmm, looks like I definitely used enough house paint. Let's see how our sides got. My sides could use a little more. <clears throat> I like these dispenser bottles. They really come in handy. Maybe I'm spinning too hard, I think. That's what I'm doing. I'm being a little too aggressive. Uh, this is a new spinner for me, so um, my other spinner, I did have to spin hard. Um, maybe this one I don't have to spin as hard, so this might be a learning curve. We'll see how it turns out. <clears throat> Got a bubble or two. Not too bad. Mm, looking good. I usually do spin my canvases out good um, because I don't want my flowers to fly off. Um, though this is a Shelly Art Bloom technique, I don't put an extra little puddle because um, I want my I do want my flowers to kind of stay in place. I like them to open up, which the spinning will do, but I don't want them to fly away. So let's get to it. So I really like the placement of the last one I did was really nice. <clears throat> and on either side, whoops, yep, let's see. Yeah, this is the one I want to start with. This is Yellow Orzo by Amsterdam. I like to add a little incandescent uh, medium to all of my paints so they all have a bit of bling, <clears throat> which is kind of fun to, I like everything to shine up good. So I'm putting them on either side of uh, the meat, the middle. So this being the middle, I put the flowers on either side. So yellow and orange together, I think, will be a nice combo. Now I'll go with my leaves. Now that I know where my <clears throat> my uh, flowers are going to be, Oop, just a tiny bit more here. 
So this is um, my leaves. Base is Festive Green by Deco Art Metallics. Okay, and I love a variation in my leaves. Because <clears throat> they're never all just one color. A little gold in that too. That's Empire's Gold by Deco Art Metallics as well. And uh, I'm gonna put a little Rich Espresso is this by the Deco Art Metallics. It's probably good enough. All right, so now let's vary our flowers a little bit. I don't remember which orange this is. I didn't write on it, shame on me. I'm finally starting to write on the tops of my containers. And this one is uh, bright yellow by, I believe it's Amsterdam. And then I have some incandescent medium in here with a little bit of um, color art sunburst. And I blow out my leaves first. <clears throat> and my, my cell activator is Payne's Gray by Amsterdam. I do use Australian Floetrol. And I mix it up three to one. Three Floetrol to one paint by the teaspoon, I mix it up by the teaspoon. So I don't mix up a lot at once. It goes for quite a few paintings. I do use it up until it's just about gone, if it's not too old. I'm not wasting that stuff. <laughs> Alrighty, so I start with my leaves and I'm going to blow them out towards the edge. I let the spinner work for me.
Okay, we'll let them sit for a little bit. <clears throat> and then this is Garnet, also by DecoArt Metallics. I'm just putting just a spot. Put just a spot in this one too. Come on. And then some cell activator. do the flowers so whatever flower you do last will be your prominent flower so I would think I want the yellow to be my prominent one and we want to come right down on top of that cell activator Lovely. Lovely, lovely. I'm going to give that a light spin. Hopefully I know the meaning of the word light with this new spinner. What a smooth spin. That's something. Okay. I'm going to work it up with, modify it some with my skewer. We'll let those flowers sit for a bit and we'll play with these. a little extra detail. All right, now the flowers. I like to leave this center as the center of the flower so I don't bring it all the way to the middle. 
I want to accent that. that bit of red in the center of the flower. spin. It like never ends. Okay. Give a little accent over here. Little flower bud there. Isn't that sweet? That's sweet. Love that. I was gonna do bright yellow, but I don't know if that'll show up very well. she's done. We'll give it a torch. <clears throat> now isn't that cheery? I think that's quite cheery. I'm happy with it. Let me wipe my hands off here. <laughs> I'll get you closer so you can see. It 
Look at that sweet little accent on the bottom. Okay. There you go. <clears throat> There's a, another painting from Bowman for Art and T.A. Bowman Studios, Tracy Bowman. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can see what comes next. Okay, thank you very much. Bye now.